Look into this young man's eyes. Do you see danger? What if I told you that behind the piercing gaze and innocent eyes lies what many consider to be an existential threat to photography, and even possibly to our way of life as we know it? I'll come back to him later, but first, let me tell you about the journey I've been on trying to answer the question, how much of a threat is artificial intelligence to photography? You may or may not have noticed that artificial intelligence, AI, has become an increasing feature in our daily lives. From Google Maps to Instagram, and even here on YouTube, we encounter artificial intelligence all the time, without even thinking. In the last year or so, there's been an increasing focus on AI in the public sphere, as people wake up to its increasingly widespread use and the rapid pace of development of this technology. For example, here are all the articles on AI topics from just one UK newspaper that were published in the week prior to me filming this video. I admit I've personally been late to the realisation of the significance of AI, apart from skimming the occasional article like this one over the last few months. Lately though, I've come across some thought-provoking videos, which I'll link below, which have challenged me to think more deeply about this issue, particularly as it relates to photography. Starting from a place of ignorance, I thought it useful to begin with a basic definition. What is artificial intelligence? A simple definition states that AI is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. A lot of the concern about AI lately has been focused on what is called generative AI, which refers to artificial intelligence that can consume large amounts of raw data, say all of Wikipedia for example, and then draw from that data to create new work that is similar, but not identical to the original data. The current example you've most probably heard of is ChatGPT, which is a generative AI designed for conversational purposes. Generative AI has already infiltrated the world of photography, with many established platforms already incorporating the technology, including Photoshop, Topaz Labs, Canva, and Midjourney. These powerful applications are able to create new images or change existing ones in seconds in response to simple prompts. This leads us to one of the things about generative AI that has photographers worried. This image, created by German artist Boris Eldegsen, won the Creative Open category at this year's Sony World Photography Awards. It rapidly became a worldwide story when the artist admitted that the image was not in fact a photograph, but was an AI-generated image. This episode highlighted the fact that we are now firmly in a new era, where the concept of photography as we understood it may be called into question. In addition, the question of what constitutes truth in photography, a debate that has raged for years even before the introduction of AI, is now right back on the agenda. It's easy to understand why photographers might be uneasy about the rise in AI technology. If by simply typing a few lines into an application, you can create beautiful images in seconds that are perfectly suited to your purpose, it doesn't take much of a leap to imagine companies preferring to use this technology for their marketing campaigns, rather than hiring photographers as they would have done previously. It's quicker, cheaper, and there are less variables to worry about. The only limitation appears to be the specificity of the instructions the operator inputs to generate the image. Like for example, I type the following prompt into the AI generator. And this is the image it produced. This is the point where someone puts their hand up and raises the question of art. Some argue that although the poor commercial photographers might fall victim to the AI monster, the true artists are safe for now because machines aren't able to display true creativity in the way we as humans are. This article in the Scientific American argued that humans are unique due to their ability to acquire knowledge from others and use it to devise solutions to problems, as well as our ability to pass knowledge to others over the generations. But as we've already discovered, generative AI is able to acquire knowledge and use it in novel ways too. So are we really that special after all? Which brings me back to this guy. This image, like the succulent burger, the pair of headphones and the couple I showed you earlier, was created using a generative AI platform. What's different about this image though, is that it was created in response to a prompt to create images in the style of Diane Arbus, one of the most renowned photographers of the last century. One of this pair of images is a Diane Arbus photograph, the other is AI. Comment below which one you think is which. And again here, only one of these pictures was created by Diane Arbus. Comment below which you think are the real photos, and I'll give you the answer later. Creating these images took me a few seconds in each case, and I have to admit that the ease with which these were created and the plausibility of the final result is quite disturbing to me. As with the case of Boris Eldegsen and the Sony Awards, I think we we're already at a place where AI poses serious questions about the future of photography, to which there are no easy answers. As the technology continues developing at a rapid pace, this issue is only going to get more difficult to untangle. 
Feeling a bit disheartened about the future of photography, it felt inevitable that I'd finally turn to AI to answer the question, how much of a threat is AI to photography? Before I tell you what ChatGPT said, here are the genuine Diane Arbus images. So, how much of a threat to photography is AI? Here's the answer according to ChatGPT. As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, AI was not considered a threat to photography, but rather a valuable tool that could enhance and expand creative possibilities. AI in photography has been used for tasks like image recognition, content-aware fill, automatic color correction, and even generating images from text descriptions. Photographers often make choices based on personal style, artistic expression, and storytelling that AI can't replicate. That said, technology is constantly evolving. 